My name is Dwayne Hendricks. Cam call sign WA8DZP. Awesome. Uh, Dwayne, what is what is the right question we should be asking um, all the different stakeholders in this particular community to try to create abundant connectivity? Um, that's a good uh, question. Um, I got interviewed by Nokia for their, I don't know, their innovation program about five years ago, and my topic was the Internet of Things, and I predicted like in five years we would be in this, you know, IPv6 transition, Internet of Things. And we're still not there with IPv6, at least not in this country. Other countries, Asia, yes, but not here. But it's becoming clearer, you're, you're seeing the Internet of Things more and more out there in the media. Um, I think that we've, we're in a problem right now, at least in the United States, in that um, the Internet's being in the process of being co-opted, you know, and it's not going to fulfill the dreams of the original uh, players that put it together and that an internet is uh, independently owned and operated networks that use a common protocol to talk, okay? And that's not what we've got anymore. We've got basically uh, a monoculture with the major uh, carriers providing this and it's their way or the highway. So Evan Moglin has recently um, taken sort of like, he gave a speech at David's uh, Eisenberg's Freedom to Connect earlier this year that was called Innovation Under Austerity. And to me, that one hour speech, here we are today, like the 49th anniversary of the uh, Martin Luther King I Have a Dream speech, uh, that speech was the I Have a Dream speech for technology. Okay, it's masterful. I encourage everybody to go to the Freedom to Connect 2012 YouTube channel and give it a listen. Uh, it got a standing ovation from everybody there for like uh, two or three minutes, okay? And he just stood up in front of everybody and just talked and nailed it, okay? Um, so he laid out a sort of a blueprint, not a complete plan, but just a set of ideas about where we are today, the problems we're facing, and what he thought was one of the clear solutions and that we've got to go back to the grassroots and do it ourselves and that we, we don't have the funds. The funds aren't going to be there, okay? So we've got to figure out how to innovate under austerity. And that really resonated with me. So um, I admired uh, Evan for, uh, mo uh, for a long time and uh, we're simpatico and uh, uh, so after that, I sort of signed up with one of his uh, nonprofits, the Free Network Foundation, and I'm trying to steer them towards doing some neat stuff because I think that we really need to build the internet this time from the ground up, like it started before, from scratch. And radio, wireless, presents the opportunity to do it, okay, in that, you know, you can lay wires, wireless can go anywhere, anytime. Okay, and the technology is cheap, and um, so Free Networking Foundation presents a sort of a framework, okay, and we all need to start filling in the blanks, okay. But it's about building new kinds of communities, okay, and we sort of like to have forgotten how to do that, okay. So it's not only going to be about technology, it's going to be about we ourselves and using the technology in new ways, okay? And then we'll have an Internet of Things. Awesome. Thank you very much. Welcome.